All right, so I'm going to do a quick podcast on the data that you're going to be receiving on Monday, March 5th. Uh, I, I title it, Saying Hello and Goodbye to Your Data for a Reason. Um, this is really about data cleanup. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Let's get rid of this PowerPoint. So here's the data set, almost exactly like you're going to be getting it from Blackboard on Monday. Uh, I will have redacted certain things, like for example, this person wrote other in their race, and in there, beside there, they wrote what they consider their race to be. I redacted that because it was the only one like that. Similarly, down here in gender, there was only one person who identified their their gender as other. This person also happened to be a black, non-Hispanic, master's degree, MSW. <clears throat> so you can see uh, how the person who uh, maybe knows that person could then say, oh, this is what so-and-so uh, said. Um, so that's something to think about when you're first looking at your data deciding is there identifiers in here that I do not want people to know about. So, so similarly because there are certain things I didn't want you to know about each other for this podcast I redacted and you can see how big this data set is. Oh, I redacted all the the names of the social work students who have entered their data. I didn't redact whether or not they were in which class. So, and I and I won't do that. Um, uh, and I won't redact whether or not they're in the research methods course. So, so this is pretty much what it's going to show up as. As you can see, the um, the data set has these these original questions as their um, their, their data headers, uh, and that's something that um, yeah, I don't like. So, um, what I'm going to do is to take and change all those. But before I change them, I don't want to lose my my header names. Um, because I may want them again at some point. So I, I just select them all um, and I copy them. Um, uh, right click on there, hit copy. And then I come over here to a new sheet. And I'm going to call this sheet Labels. So I named it Labels. And so I'm going to have two columns in this data sheet, uh, new labels and original labels. So uh, I'm going to take all of those um, labels that I just copied and paste them in the column under original. Now I, I'm working in a, in a Mac here. So those of you who are working from Windows, you're going to see a little bit of a different thing. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to, if I can uh, uh, do my pasting from this window. So here's my paste function. Uh, it'll be similar in Windows. So uh, I'm in my cell where I want the pasting to start. I hit my drop down menu and what I want to do is hit transpose uh, which has a little 
uh, column looking thing. What transpose does, it will take a, uh, a horizontal selection and paste it vertical and it will take a vertical selection and paste it horizontal and so that's important for us um, and so we can do that so there I've transport I transposed all of these um, uh, original IDs so um, then I can go through and just simply change them. To whatever I want. Uh, so record ID is ID, survey identifier is survey SID, etc., etc. Uh, some of them are going to be quite quite common sense, like time step I can make into time, age I can make into age, gender I can make into gender, etc., etc., etc. Well, there's a lot of of uh, variables in this um, um, data set. Um, so you might not want to work with all of them. So uh, a good step for you to do when you get a brand new data set is to immediately make a copy of it. So I selected my entire data set, made a copy, and I'm going to call this my data. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the data I'll be working with. I'll paste that and then I'm going to go through and say you know what exactly do I want to work with? Uh, I don't care about this column here that's entirely blank uh, so I'm just going to get rid of it by deleting it. Do I care what time they completed this? I don't. You might, but I won't. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And so on. So I'm going to go through each one of these categories and um, decide which ones that I want. And actually um, for the purpose of this um, um, podcast I'm going to limit it to say from um, location back so so let me let me just select come on get all the way over here So I've selected all the columns from from record ID over to location. And then I'll just copy those using my command copy or my control copy if you're in Windows. And I'm going to put it into here and call my small data. You can name these whatever you want to. And then I'm just going to paste this into into Excel. And so um, then I'm going to make a new one called Small Data Labels. And here I'm going to put my new labels in. So here's my small data. Transpose, I just right clicked there, paste special, and then transpose. And those, so th there I have my, looks like 17. So here's, here's the new and here's the original. Um, so I'll just call that ID, age, gender, gender, gender. Uh, gender, other, uh, 
uh, race, race, other, education, social work degree, I'll just call it SWD, uh, social work level for what's your highest social work degree. Uh, years employed, I'll just put YRS underscore EMPL. Years in social services, years underscore SS. Uh, which of the following best describes your, your current major function in the area, in your agency? I'm just going to call that job. What is your job? Number of employees. Um, uh, I'll just put N-O. Underscore employees. EMPL. No. Okay. I'm going to put, I don't like that. N-U-M-B-E-R. E-M-P-L. Uh, you see I used a period that time. You can use numbers. I mean, you can use periods. You can use numbers. Uh, you can use anything in Excel. If you're going to import this into um, R, which most of you will, uh, you can't use a number as the very first variable name. You can't use spaces. Um, so some little things there. Which of the best describes the type of services? Type underscore SVCS uh, uh, agency type. That was the public nonprofit and all that stuff. Uh, religiously affiliated and location. So those are my 17 variables that I've decided to, to work with in my small data set. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go back over here to my, and I'll select my, my, um, my new data names, and I'll go here to my small data set, and I'll come over here to my um, first row, first column, and paste by transposing that selection in. So there you can see I've got my, um, my smaller names in there. And then I can make this data set just a little bit more manageable uh, by shrinking it down. So this way I can I can go through and I can read read it much more easily. So so here's my uh, my heading. Uh, if I want to, I can make that some color to to make it stand out a little bit. I can make it a little bit larger uh, so that I can read that a little little easier. Doesn't matter. Um, That's enough for this piece of it.